Hi everyone and welcome to the Boys Swimming NBL Finals. The meet should be starting in about 20 minutes. Today we have the top three, the top three heats, or the top 18 kids from each event. Hi everyone, this is Anna Boris with WRHS Media. Here we are at the NBL Boys Swimming Finals. And um, they will be starting pretty soon right now. They're just doing some warm-ups, doing their dives. Tonight, the top 18 swimmers from each event will be racing to see who's going to be the winner. And then after this, a week from Wednesday, they will have state championships. Also here we have Mackenzie White and Michael Conway on camera. We've got a lot to look forward to, a lot of good swimmers coming up. For the first event, Woodland will be competing in the second heat and also in heat for the championship heat. Woodland is seated. Woodland is seated in sixth place right now for the 200-yard medley relay. Hopefully, they can uh, get a little bit higher than that.
Some of the people that you can expect to see tonight swimming from Woodland are Aiden Music in the 200-yard IM in the championship heat. We also have Patrick Dietz in the 50-yard freestyle. Also in the 50, in the 50 free, we have Andy O'Dell in the championship heat. He is seated in fifth place at the moment. Aiden Music will also be appearing in the 100-yard freestyle championship, championship heat along with Andy O'Dell. They are seated in first and sixth. Hi everyone, this is Anna Boris again. We should be starting off pretty soon. Right now they're just finishing, making sure that all the timing pads are up and working, just to make sure that we're all ready to go.
NPL Finals will be starting any time now. Pretty soon, the teams will all do their cheers. Draw is very interesting. Someone's even, someone's even holding a bagpipe for their cheers. In two minutes, the seniors from each team will be recognized for the past four years or the amount of years that they've swam. And there's Sacred Heart with the bagpipes. This is definitely an interesting cheer, not one that I've seen before. There's senior Ray Snyder in the middle. Holy Cross also with a very interesting cheer to start them off. And now we'll be going to Mike Conway. Thanks, Mike. We're just getting ready to start the um, senior recognition. We'll be calling out the names of every senior on all the NVL teams. That is certainly an interesting cheer that I've never seen before. Displayed by Nagata.
first school to announce their seniors will be Crosby High School. From Holy Cross High School, senior Matt Flower, Austin Minor, Mike Pisacchio, it's always a little bittersweet for these seniors who are swimming in their last NBL finals. For those of, for those of. For those people that aren't going to states, this might be their last meet of their high school career. They'll now be moving on to Kennedy High School. And now on to Naugatuck High School. Looks like Nantuck will be graduating a lot of seniors this year. Wonder how that will affect the numbers for their team next year. Now to Sacred Heart High School. Senior Captain for the meet to start. Don't forget to check us out at WRHS Media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And now on to Torrington. Welcome back to the pool, ladies and gentlemen, here at Kennedy High School. I'm Mike Conway, sitting in with Anna Boris, and right now 
They are doing the uh, pre-swim ceremonies and they're announcing every senior from every team and senior captains and they're recognizing them as this will be their last NBL meet. And now the Woodland seniors are up. The first senior is uh, Patrick Dietz. The second senior is w WRHS Media Zone, Steve McCusker. And that ends the senior recognition as they went alphabetically and Woodland with the W was the last to go there. The swimming is about to start here at Kennedy High School for the uh, Naugatuck Valley League Swimming Finals, Boys Swimming Finals, and before that gets started, um, we're going to sing the national anthem here. Hello again, Woodland fans. I'm Mike Conway here at uh, Kennedy High School, and the, the water is still. The national anthem has been sung, and it's time to get in the water for the first event here at the NVL Finals. The first event is the boys' 200-yard medley relay. Heat 1 will include Wilby, Torrington, Sacred Heart, Naugatuck, Holy Cross, and Watertown. Woodland will appear in heat number two and heat number four of this event. First seat of the 200 yard medley relay. Boys are in the water, ready to start.
and they're off. Hi everyone, this is Anna Boris back. Right now it looks like Sacred Heart and Nogatuck are tied for the lead. And Watertown is pulling up just a little bit. Brushstroke is prepared to dive into the water. And look at that, Watertown. Oh, I'm sorry, Nogatuck hits first with a 32.79 for that, uh, for the backstroke. Moggy has about a two or three second lead here. Hopefully they'll be able to keep it. And here comes the relay start. And a 34-23 for the brushstroke time. Now with the Flyers. Wow, Nogi's really increasing their uh, their lead right here. And Nogi's dive in for their. Sorry about that, everyone. And Nagi comes in first with two minutes and three seconds flat. They are followed by Holy Cross, Sacred Heart, Torrington, and Wilby will come in last. Heat 2 is in the water. Here we have Kennedy in lane 1, Seymour in lane 2, Nogatuck in 3, Watertown in 4, Woodland in 5, and Wilby in 6. Lauren Tompkins will be racing the backstroke leg of the race for Woodland. Seymour has fallen behind a little bit in the first leg. And here comes Nogi. Nogi in the lead right now. Lauren Tompkins currently tied with Watertown, who unfortunately seems to be having some goggle issues. Nogi again, the first one in the water, leading the pack. Woodland and Watertown are still tied. Donovan White is swimming for Woodland right now with the brushstroke, pulling them ahead of Watertown by about a half second. John Vin comes in with a time of 33.28 seconds for his fresh stroke. Now the fly. And it looks like Kennedy is coming out of nowhere, catching up. Woodland's losing the little lead that they had over Watertown right now, and Kennedy is slowly catching them. 
Nagi still way ahead of uh, way ahead of him. Nagi is already into the water and it's halfway done with their last leg of the race. Looks like Nagi will win the seat also. Nagi comes in first with the time of 159.97. Sec Woodland with a close third with Watertown. Watertown gets second with two minutes, two minutes six seconds, point forty-three, 206.43. Woodland comes in with 206.44, only one one hundredth of a second apart. And then comes Kennedy. Seymour and lastly will be with the time of Now we're starting Heat 3. Heat 3 is in Lane 1, Holy Cross. Lane 2, Seymour. Lane 3, Kennedy. Lane 4, Willby. 5, Sacred Heart. And 6, Torrington. Right from the start, we see that Willby is falling back a little bit. All the other teams seem pretty close though right now. Wilby's really got to get their act together. They got to catch up. They're behind in the first leg of the race. It's pretty hard to come back from that. Now, breaststrokers are in the water for the other teams. Can't quite see who's leading at the moment. They're all really close. Seymour and Sacred Heart right now, very close, leading everyone. And they are approaching blocks, and the Flyers will dive into the water. Right now, it looks like Seymour is in the lead. The last look of the race will now be in the water. Kennedy's trying to catch up with Seymour right now. They might get close. Oh, and the flip turn gains him, gains him some time. Now They are now tied. It's going to be a really close race right here between Seymour, I'm sorry, between Seymour and Kennedy. And Kennedy comes back and he takes it with a minute 57.89 seconds. Seymour comes in second with 158.25.
in the championship heat is off for the boys 200 yard medley relay Woodland in lane six Andy Odell starting off with the backstroke and he's in third place starting off as they go back the team's going nuts and the crowd cheering as this is the final round the fastest swimmers are in this round and this is for it all Right now, Sacred Heart is seated in first place. Woodland, though, is seated only in sixth. This is going to be a really close race. Still in first place is in lane three, Sacred Heart, followed very closely by lane two in Torrington. In lane four, Holy Cross seems to be in fourth. For Sacred Heart in the breaststroke, that is an amazing time for a 50 breaststroke. And in lane three, Sacred Heart takes first place, followed closely in lane two by Torrington in second place. Woodland with the tough 200 meter relay there, falling into fifth place. The chance Sacred Heart taking over the auditorium here as the heat is over, the final heat for the 200 meter relay. Up next is the boys 200 yard freestyle. Woodland is not in any of these heats but we will be bringing you coverage as the heats happen and talking about some of the people and swimmers who are in this and discussing the schools and giving you full play-by-play. -play. As the swimmers jump up on the blocks here, you've got Seymour, Sacred Heart, Torrington, Naugatuck, Torrington again, and Holy Cross. And they're off. No clear first place lead right now. Right now there's a very strong tie between lanes three and four. Torrington and Nargatuck, Evan Reynolds and Michaeli Bertavo. For those non-swimmers out there, the 200 yard freestyle is eight laps of sprinting freestyle. It's a really, really hard event. It takes a lot of stamina. Now this is the boys 200 yard freestyle, which means that it's just one swimmer with all the responsibility to come in first as the event before this was the medley relay, which is a relay comprised of several different strokes, including the backstroke, the butterfly, and the breaststroke. And four more laps to go for this for heat number one. It looks like Evan Reynolds from Torrington will be taking the lead here. With the grip on first place still is lane three. Evan Reynolds for Torrington followed closely by lane four, Naugatuck. Both of these swimmers are within a tenth of a second of each other. Right now, they're really close. Looks like Dale is really catching up and possibly even taking the lead on Evan. Evan, Evan is seen with a time of 206.58 and Mikhail has 206.70. And Mikhail, with a comeback win for Nargatuck, steals the first place victory from Evan Reynolds of Torrington as the race was between Reynolds and Mikhail the entire time. And Mikhail 
proving with the better endurance there, jumped ahead of Reynolds and took the W, took the early W for Nargatuck. Up next for Heat 2, we're going to be seeing Torrington, Seymour, Watertown, two swimmers from Naugatuck, and Watertown again. Here in the second heat in lane three. And lane three is Nick Paraguini for Watertown, and he's got a pretty strong grip on first, but again in lane four, we see Nagatuck with a uh, very close second place, and the last heat we saw Nagatuck come from behind and steal the win right, at, right from Torrington. So we'll see what happens in this event. In lane number two, Kevin Saxa from Seymour with a new second place. Lane number three, Watertown still has the lead though. And Watertown will take it home, followed by Seymour and Naugatuck. And that's all for the second heat. Next up in the third heat, we're going to be seeing Sacred Heart, Holy Cross, Torrington, Holy Cross again, Nagatuck, and Holy Cross for the third time. So they'll be rent represented by three swimmers in this heat. Currently in sixth place is Watertown High School overall. Woodland off to a tough start, takes fifth place in overall score. Nogtuck grabs fourth place. Holy Cross takes third place. Second place goes to Torrington High School in overall points. And Sacred Heart with the first place victory in the boys 200 yard melee, which
And the swimmers are on their blocks for Heat 3, Sacred Heart, Holy Cross, Torrington, Holy Cross, Naugatuck, and Holy Cross will be in this final heat of the boys' 200-yard freestyle. No clear, clear lead quite yet, and a tight tie is in lanes number 3 and 4, Torrington and Holy Cross. Now, Holy Cross has three representatives and three swimmers in the pool for this heat, so that can only benefit Holy Cross in trying to get first place. With a loose grip on third place is uh, Jack Wasik of Torrington. Torrington doing a great job so far, has already snagged a couple first place victories. Let's see if they can make it and get another one. Coming up right behind him is Mike DeCorton of Holy Cross, giving him a little competition as well as uh, Lane 4 at Holy Cross as well. Jack Wasik, lane number three for Torrington, and he's still in first place, closely followed in lane two, and lane number four by two Holy Cross swimmers. Torrington and Holy Cross are still going at a pace of under 30 seconds for each 50. And they're coming in. And Torrington. And Torrington takes it again. Lane number three gets first place in second place. And lane number two is Holy Cross. And in third place in lane number four, Holy Cross again. The other, the third of three Holy Cross swimmers in lane six managed to grab last place for Holy Cross. So Holy Cross takes, um, takes two, three, and six in this final heat. Here in event three is the boys' 200-yard individual uh, meet. 
the individual medley, excuse me. Um, I'm sitting here with us, Anna Boris, and she's helping me out a little bit with the swimming vernacular, so excuse me. So far in this race, we have Torrington, Torrington, Kennedy, Watertown, Sacred Heart, and Naugatuck. The swimmers are now into the, the, uh, the butterfly, which is one of the more challenging and grueling strokes. In lane three, John Dutchman for Kennedy is leading the pack right now as the boys break into the freestyle. Now the medley is composed of all four different strokes, the butterfly, the freestyle, the backstroke, and the breaststroke. So lane number three, John Dutchman of Kennedy with a huge lead as he's starting to close out the race as they freestyle back. And Kennedy takes first place. And lane number five was Sacred Heart, and they take second and third. Lane number two, and Torrington. So that will end heat one for the boys' 200-yard individual medley. Here's Anna Boris. Just a little correction on that. For the individual medley, the order of the, of the strokes is butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle. It's really hard here to work on your turns to go into each different stroke. You also have to make sure you don't do it in the wrong way or else you'll get disqualified. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike Conway, sitting next to Anna Boris here at Kennedy High School for the boys swimming NVL finals. And they jump in the pool for the 200-yard individual medley, as I've said before, a combination of four different strokes. For the first lap, they start out with the breaststroke. And in this heat, we see Holy Cross, Holy Cross, Sacred Heart, Watertown, Holy Cross again, and Naugatuck. Uh, there's really no clear leader, but so far, the first and second place have been around lanes two, three, and four, and that seems to be the case here, as we see in lane two and three, Holy Cross and Sacred Heart really leading the pack here. No woodland swimmers in this heat, but in the third and final heat, the next heat, we will see sophomore Aiden Music represent woodland in lane six. So now the swimmers are on to the backstroke. And there is really no definite leader. We see a dead tie really between lanes 2, 3, 4, and 5. The only people who seem to be lagging behind are in lanes 1 and 6. And I assure you it is not a large leap that these other lanes have. Now on to the butterfly, a uh, rather tough stroke. There's still no leader. <laughs> Methodical and slow is the butterfly stroke as the swimmers finish their butterfly and they're on to their final lap of the freestyle. The crowd is packed here at the Kennedy Pool. There's literally not a seat open and the crowd is cheering for their swimmers and their school and it is the loudest I've ever heard in a pool area. I can assure you that Watertown looking like they're taking the lead here in lane four. Yes, a large lead now by lane four and he'll finish out with Watertown in first in lane five, very close behind Mike DeSapio of Holy Cross. In third place in lane two, we saw Connor Lynch of Holy Cross take third place for Holy Cross. Still. 
Next for Heat 3 in the final heat of the boys 200 yard individual uh, medley, we will be seeing sophomore Aiden Music representing Woodland in lane 6. So Woodland has was not in the second event, the most recent one, the, the boys 200 yard freestyle. So this will be Woodland's first appearance except for Heat 2 and 4 of the first event. Aiden Music on the block for Woodland. The rest of his swim team at the opposite end of pool to cheer him on and yell at him and tell him to go back when he gets to their end of the pool. In first place, lane four, Sacred Heart. They don't have a big lead, but it's early. In lane four, we have Sacred Heart. In lane three, we have closely followed by Torrington. It's been like that this whole time. Torrington, Holy Cross, Watertown, and Sacred Heart really are the top contenders of, of this NBL matchup. Aiden Music, not quite in last place. I'm pretty sure he's in second to last place. Now they are on to the breaststroke in lane four. Uh, Connor Noon for Sacred Heart is uh, still holding on to the lead and he's starting to grow his lead. Only two more events to go. There will be freestyle. In lane four, again, Connor Noon for Sacred Heart out with a huge lead. And it looks like he'll have first place, but he still only has to do about a half a lap left. His lead is absolutely huge now. In lane three, Matthew Traub of Torrington is closely behind him. But Torrington takes it in a close matchup. In second place, it's going to be between lanes two and three. And in lane three, Matthew Trapp for Torrington taking second place, and in third place, lane two, uh, Joe Buderwitz for Holy Cross. So Torrington doing great. Uh, they look to be the uh, NBL favorite here as they have quite a few first place wins in heats and in final heats. Next, we have event four, the, boor, the boys' 50-yard freestyle. Woodland will be representing be represented by Patrick Dietz. Other schools include Torrington, who's been dominating the competition so far, Naugatuck, Seymour, Naugatuck again, and finally Holy Cross. 
Patrick Dietz getting comfortable in lane two, and they're off the block. The beginning of event number four, and in lane three, there's Simon Brundman of Naugatuck, and he's got an early lead, followed closely behind Patrick Dietz of Woodland. And that's it. In lane number three, Naugatuck with first place. In lane six, Holy Cross grabs second place. In third place, lane number four was Seymour. In fifth place, in lane five, Adam Bronco of Naugatuck. And in sixth place, in lane one, Torrington. <laughs> Patrick Dietz grabbing uh, fourth place there for Woodland. Not a bad job. Here in heat number two, it's a relatively short race. The boys 50 yard. Water, Watertown, Torrington, Watertown again. Holy Cross will be in Sacred Heart taking place in this 50 yard freestyle. It's a relatively quick race as it only consists of one lap and it is in freestyle, the fastest and easiest position. And it's going to be a close finish here, but in first place, lane number six, Sacred Heart takes the win. In place number two, lane three, is Watertown. And in place three, in lane four, Noah Matthews of Holy Cross. Coming up in the final heat, we've got in lane one, representing Woodland and Odell. In lane two, we have Naugatuck. In lane three, we have Sacred Heart. In lane four, five, and six, we have Holy Cross, Naugatuck, and Sacred Heart again. Andy Odell, one of Woodland's best swimmers, a junior this year. We'll see how he represents Woodland as he starts to get comfortable there in lane one. And the swimmers get on their blocks again. And lane number one, representing Woodland, is Andy O'Dell. And they're in the pool. It's hard to tell who's in the lead. It looks like it's uh, in lane three, Sacred Heart. Andy O'Dell with a close lead behind. It looks like... Still lane three, Raymond Snyder the fourth for Holy Cross. Looks like he's about to take it home. And there it is, lane three. Raymond Snyder 
the fourth of Sacred Heart takes first place. In second place in lane two, Eric Hanley of Naugatuck. In third place in lane four, Nick Warner of Holy Cross. And that will be the final heat for the boys' 50-yard freestyle. Up next, event six, the boys' 100-yard butterfly. And Woodland will not be in any of the heats for the boys' 100-yard butterfly, but... Here at WHS Media, we will be giving you full coverage of the event. And apparently this is the halfway point of tonight's swimming contest of in the NVL. There's going to be a 20-minute intermission, so we'll get back to you as soon as we can. For WRHS Media, alongside me is Anna Boris and Mackenzie White. I'm Mike Conway. See you in 20 minutes.
This time, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the awards for explanation. And the opposite swimmers in the 50 yard freestyle. We don't spend time with the original players of the world. We have some of the swimming partners in our world. We have a pack of fifth place. And a pack of fifth place goes to the swimmers with identical lines of 23. Going to five, seven. We'll go to the regional man, the Odell, and the St. Carl Michael, Slaughter. In quarter place, so we're going to be 23, 23, 7. The senior from Armand High School, Matt Paul. Are you talking to me? In the 50-yard freestyle. In third place, we're going to be 23, 07. Holy Cross High School, Nicholas Warner. Make it work. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Kennedy High School in Waterbury, Connecticut. I'm Mike Conway. Right after the uh, small 20-minute intermission, they reviewed the events last night, which were the, the NBLs, but of diving. And Woodland's own WRHS Media Zone, Steve McCusker, did an excellent job and took second place in the overall diving, earning him a silver medal in NBL diving. So congratulations to him and the rest of the Woodland Swim Team.
And now, event six, the boys' 100-yard butterfly. And the, uh, the pool quiets as they begin. In the boys' 100-yard butterfly, we have the schools of Sacred Heart, Torrington, will be Seymour, Kennedy, and Torrington. There will be no woodland swimmers in this event whatsoever in any of these heats, but we will be giving you a full live broadcast regardless. Um, there is no clear leader. Um, in lane number four, there's Jake Vileko for Seymour, and it seems that he's started to build the lead. He has no swimmers who are closely behind him. The closest would be right beside him in lane two with uh, Jonah Heeland of Torrington. But it's apparent that in lane number four, Jake Vileko for Seymour has the lead here. Now the butterfly, while it's only a hundred yard, it's a very grueling and rough swim. And Jake Vileko proves to be the best in lane four. He takes home Seymour's first first place win in heat number one here. In second place in lane three, you had Kevin Smythe for Wilby. And in third place in lane two, you had Jonah Heeland for Torrington. Torrington um, has been doing a great job alongside with Sacred Heart. It's obvious that they've been dominating the competition with multiple first, first place wins. And in between this heat and waiting for the heat number two, we just got a little shout out from the overall pool announcers here at Kennedy. And they, we wrote a little thing for them to say to advertise for our website and that you'll be able to actually watch this meet. You at home can also watch this meet again if you missed the live broadcast on our YouTube channel. You can also share it. We have a Facebook page that we update as often as we can with our most recent stories. We have our website, wrhsonline.net. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Here in heat number two, we have Seymour, Nargatuck, Holy Cross, Seymour again, Watertown, and Sacred Heart. It appears that in lane three, Holy Cross has taken an early lead, but it's not that much closely followed behind. Marcus Cruz of Naugatuck is on Holy Cross's tail here. Holy Cross in lane three still maintaining the lead. Followed closely by Seymour and Naugatuck in lanes one and two. In first place in lane three is Holy Cross as the, his lead was kept. Um, Mr. Uh, 